president has committed an unspeakable assault on our nation and our people. I join the Senate Democratic leader in calling on the vice president to remove this president by immediately invoking the 25th Amendment. If the vice president and cabinet do not act, the Congress may be prepared to move forward with impeachment. There are two ways that President Trump could conceivably be stripped of his, his powers. One is the 25th Amendment, uh, which is not fully removing the president from office, but basically just deposing him from, from controlling the levers of, of government. The quickest way for that to happen would be for Vice President Mike Pence to convene the cabinet and hold a majority vote removing the president temporarily from office. Pence would become the acting president. The, the catch here, though, is that for that to last, President Trump would basically have to accept that. He could send his own letter to Congress, more or less disputing this act, and then that would throw the matter to Congress and they would have to vote on it. And that creates, you know, the, another timeline here as we tick through the last few days uh, of his term before the January 20th inauguration. An even longer timeline is impeachment and conviction by the Senate. Impeachment in the House uh, would then require a trial in the Senate. And there's just questions of whether that can be done in such a short time frame. Every second, every minute, every day that Donald Trump remains in office presents a clear and present danger to the health, safety, and well-being of the American people and our democracy. That is why the House is pursuing every available means at our disposal to accomplish the objective of holding the President of the United States accountable.